Good evening. Good evening. Come on, you can't treat an old Seahawk like that. You gotta talk. Good evening. I'm Don Rivers, and I'm running for the seventh district of Congress, uh, an area that is really the really guts of Washington State because it's import export, it's foreign domestic, it's Seattle, and. I've been here 40 years, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I want to talk to you tonight about the vibrancy of Washington State. We can talk about the county, we can talk about the cities, we can talk about our state level. Well, we got a lot of problems there. And as a congressional candidate, what I would do is look for those constituents that I could work with to resolve a lot of these problems, like that hole in that ground over there uh, <laughs> that we wasted money on like some diversity issues that are not happening at the county. They're trying, but it's just not happening. I've been there 36 years, so I know what I'm talking about. But now I want to talk about something that's really important to me, and that's foreign and domestic issues. I also want to talk about cultural diversity and an incompetency, because what we have in Washington State is an opportunity to, 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 to help ourselves get to a point where we are competent of culture. And in order to do that, one thing that I want to create is a one-on-one -on -one guideline booklet that deals with cultural diversity, that helps everyone in the community understand each other's culture. Because if we don't understand how to say hi to each other, or what the problems are with each other, we'll constantly have problems. I know we talk about gun control, but I'm from Detroit. No. <laughs> it's been guns all my life. The only difference is, I've never shot one. And I was right in the middle of the ghetto with the gangs and the gang member. Now, how did I accomplish that? I accomplished it because I knew what mental health treatment was. I knew when people had problems mentally and were unstable, and they need to be stabilized personally. We have it every day on our jobs around here, but people are not stable. So what we really need to look at across our nation is a way to get mental health treatment. I said this on my 2014 campaign, and I see my mentor is taking the hole on it to put it in, med in the medical care, which is his last piece that he wants to deal with is mental health treatment. We have the issue that deals around in Washington State. There's no reason why all these folks should be on the street living on the street. Someone is incompetent of culture and not understanding why people can't pay taxes having problems. So let's go to another area, and I'll stop after this it's at three minutes. Social Security. We have it right now. I'm turning 60, so I'm kind of like understanding it. But at the same time, our young people don't understand unions. They don't understand why they jumping around four or five jobs. And they don't understand Social Security. And you know why they don't understand Social Security? Because we haven't revitalized the program. So what we need to do is take Social Security and bring it up to date by transforming that thing to a point where corporations can understand that they need to be more vitally involved. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Oh, I was at 30 seconds, so that's why it took me so long. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And also, uh